What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So a little bit of Steam Deck stuff here. Uh, we had a pretty big update for Steam OS beta and preview versions. This isn't to stable yet, so it's not a big update for stable, but it's pretty cool to check this out. Now, we're currently on stable 3.6.24, and we're gonna do some comparison to the new beta 3.7.5 and a couple of games in this video. And I just wanna quickly kind of look over what this update is all about because there's really a lot here. And it also gets a little bit into the Asus and Lenovo handhelds. Something I've been waiting to do is install SteamOS on those and do some more testing here. I've been waiting for them to get some more updates to SteamOS for those devices and get it more officially out for those, but we're getting really close to being able to do that. And I've seen all the videos that everyone's made already doing that and testing it out. It looks pretty awesome on those devices. So I'm looking forward to getting into that in the future. And it looks like these updates are bringing that kind of stuff and more support as well. So let's go ahead and get into it and take a closer look at this SteamOS 3.7.5 beta and preview channel update for the Steam Deck. So like I said, we will take a look at a couple of games side by side just because there's new graphics drivers here and I'm always interested anyway just to take a look at games I have on my Steam Deck already. How are they running before and after I do this update? So we'll take a look at that here in a little bit too, but just going down through here and taking a look at the actual update a little bit. In our general part, we've got updated to a newer Arch Linux base. We're updated to Linux kernel uh, 6.11. They've updated the Mesa graphics driver base, which again I mentioned and wanted to test a few games. We've got desktop mode with Plasma 6.2.5. There's uh, beginnings of support for non-Steam Deck handheld. So again, they, we, uh, we've already seen videos of the, I believe it's 3.8 that's been grabbed up and installed on some devices, um, testing things out, uh, testing SteamOS. I know a couple of people who have installed SteamOS on Lenovo Legion Go's. Um, so I'm interested to check that out soon myself as well, but they're definitely bringing more uh, support, which I'm really excited about and being able to check this out on the original Allies, the Ally X and the Legion Go. I'll also be getting the Legion Go S models with SteamOS here in a couple of weeks for review. Added support for frame limiting with VRR displays internal and external. Fix the crash when no displays are connected. Add support for the power button on the Asus and Lenovo handheld. So that's on top of beginnings of support for non-Steam Deck handhelds and improved input support for Asus and Lenovo handhelds. So again, a lot of stuff in here with 3.7.5. Uh, prepping as we get closer to, I guess, 3.8 or whatever the case may be, where it's a more official launch for those devices and being able to check that out. Uh, they've got some stuff for controller and input here, fix an issue with the uh, Switch Pro controller gyros uh, that might not work on first connection, uh, fix an issue with stuck or hanging controller inputs with the ex uh, with, when exiting Steam. There's a bunch of stuff in here for Bluetooth uh, with some of that enabled HFP and HSP profiles to allow using the integrated microphone from headsets and earbuds currently only available to select in desktop mode. Uh, added battery level display for supported Bluetooth devices include a bug fix for AirPods when using the AAC codec and some other improvements in a Bluetooth there. For the Steam Deck dock, they've made compatibility improvements for certain displays, including TCL, Fire TV models, and Dell VRR uh, capable monitors. We've got graphics and performance enabled AMD P state CPU frequency control and fixed a performance regression for no rest for the wicked. So, again, new graphics driver and some fixes in there. It's not a big graphics driver change uh, from what I can tell, but a few little things in there. And a bunch of stuff here for desktop mode. Of course, we already talked about the Plasma update, which you can get more notes. If you want to go um, check out the uh, website here and click on the link, they've done some fixes for surround sound, uh, speed and robustness improvements when switching between desktop and game modes. And I have actually noticed that a bit as I have been going back and forth here today, kind of testing the uh, update. And they got some miscellaneous stuff in here for fixing some uh, crashes, enabling some privacy extensions, uh, fixing a bootloader crash on certain non-Steam Deck devices. Again, this is more stuff working and prepping toward the Asus Allies and the Lenovo Legion Go devices. And then some final stuff in here at the bottom for some developer um, fixes and issues here. So yeah, just a pretty big update when it comes to the beta and preview channel for the Steam Deck. A lot of good stuff in here, really, and a lot of prep work 
for getting on those other devices, which again, I'm really excited to get into and compare on the original Legion Go and the Ally X and the Ally uh, with Steam OS. So really cool that they're working on that some more. And again, like I said, I do wanna just take a quick look at a few games that I had on my Steam Deck already. So I recorded some before and after footage on stable and on beta just to see if there were any issues. Now I didn't run into any crashing issues or problems with games so far with this update, which is good. Um, but we'll just take a quick look at some side-by-side -side comparison. I don't expect any major, major difference, uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look. So anyway, let's move on, take a look at the games real quick, and then we'll finish it up. All right, guys, a little side-by-side. -side. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle first was stable on the left and the new beta version on the right. And in this game, not really much of a difference. And again, I didn't expect to see one. Although there were some areas I felt like I didn't dip quite as low and maybe ran a little bit better on 3.75 which is one of the only games out of the four here that I took a look at I could really say that because it did seem like a lot of the games got a little bit less performance however very similar to the same jumping over to cyberpunk was one of the ones that got a little bit less performance on the beta and I re-ran these quite a few times and that's not a surprise cyberpunk is like super sensitive to any GPU driver updates or changes sometimes it's for the better sometimes it's for the worse and I always like to take a look at this one but yeah I ran this numerous times and the stable always came out a little bit better than the beta version did and even in open world or actual real world gameplay rather than just the benchmark that kind of seemed to be the case as well it was usually very similar but felt like stable was just overall doing a little bit better job with cyberpunk on here but by the time all this comes to stable oftentimes what happens when i see this is we get either the same or better performance they're usually working on things as we go so always tweaking things with their update taking a look at oblivion the remaster here it's pretty much the same as well. There were a couple of areas I ran into where it seemed like the stable driver, like Cyberpunk, performed a little bit better. But ultimately, it seemed like they were pretty much doing the same thing. Which, again, not that surprised. And this game ultimately doesn't run great anyway. And it's just one I still had on the Steam Deck and thought I would take a look at and throw up side by side here with the two versions. And then... Uh, Claire Obscura, Expedition 33, one of my favorite games so far this year. This one definitely was uh, similar to Cyberpunk, where I was just overall seemingly getting a little bit better performance on Stable versus Beta. Again, wasn't really surprised a lot by that, and by the time all this stuff comes to Stable down the road, we'll see how performance actually stacks up at that point. But I always think it's fun to take a look at these games or whatever I happen to have on the deck when these updates come out, see what performance is doing side by side. Sometimes there's a big difference, sometimes there's not. But it's always something I think is fun to take a look at anyways. But this is all just in beta and preview for now. So if you want to wait and hang out for the stuff to come to stable, I'm sure things will be even more improved then. We'll probably get more updates and versions here to beta and preview. And I think it's 3.8 eight that's out there and about somewhere that you can install on the legion go and ally if i'm correct haven't done that yet myself but as we saw in the update they are prepping more and more for those devices to officially get steam os and i'm looking forward to checking that out but anyways guys as always thanks a lot for coming to check out the video i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one